Damn. Hey, what's up, folks? So, estamos aquí en la oficina. We're here at the office. It's real early. It's about 8.30-ish. Um, we have two early meetings today, Thursday. Uh, the cool thing about having an office is that, well, you know what, not having an office, but the cool thing about being a full-time DJ is that pretty much you could accommodate uh, the client's timing. And um, I like this early meetings because I don't get to fight the traffic, and um, it's really cool. Um, also, the clients like to come over and see what you got to offer, see how uh, stable you are, and you know, um, there's more trust, so I kind of like that. Uh, right now, I'm still waiting for the client. I'm kind of chilling right here in the car, enjoying the sun because it's been really, really cold and, and windy and raining over here in LA. So, uh, let's go check it out, see what's going on. All right, looks like nobody's home. It's early, that's why they usually come in the afternoon. So, one of these days, David, anyways, um, this is David's fairy tales office right here. But one of these days, I'm gonna pull a good prank on him. I'm thinking of getting like uh, one of those fake snakes and just put it right there, like under his seat. <laughs> So, ya llegamos. We're here. This is the uh, Whittier, the Risk Gardens banquet. I don't even know if it's a banquet. It looks like a bowling alley. But, anyways, we got two events this year going on here. Y este, I'm just waiting for the client to do the walkthrough. Uh, we're going to be here in a couple weeks. And then we're going to be here in summer. So, I'm pretty much going to do both walkthroughs right now. So, um this is saturday morning around 9 a.m but this is what i do you know this is look at samples on me i don't know what else to show you guys uh pretty much what we're gonna be as asking the venues what i ask the venues is uh what are your do's and don'ts for djs uh uh how early can we come set up uh what time do we need to leave and stuff like that and then i look at the location where i need to set up and find out how many outlets we have and they, are they good and working all that good stuff. So I'm just waiting for the client. Once again, this is the Ritz Garden in Whittier. All right, folks. So this is the Ritz Gardens in Whittier. And let me tell you guys, I'm very impressed. Totally looks different from the inside than the outside. So I actually talked to management Karen, so she was really, really nice. And then she says I could pretty much do whatever I want here. So I'll show you guys the inside of the venue. As you guys can see, this place is huge. Uh, show you guys. So for anybody out there who wants to do an event over here in Whittier, this is a great place. This is a good option. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. So we have two events here. First event we're gonna do, all we're doing is uh, a photo booth. And right now they're going over the floor plan. They're gonna tell me where I'm gonna set up. And then in summer, we have a quince, a big quinceanera over here. So um, that we're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna do the uh, DJ placement. But anywho, aquí estamos en el Ritz, Ritz Garden in Whittier. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, damn, it's like 8.30 in the morning. I just got woken up. I got this box today. One, 
of many boxes that are coming in. And uh, I opened it up already, but I want to show you guys what I got. So, and I'll tell you guys why I got this stuff too. So, I got a couple things coming. This is, like I said, this is only one. Oh, one of many boxes that we got coming. So, I ordered two of the Chave FX Array Q5s wash lights. One, two over there. And I order uh, one, two, three, four of the EC Par 64 wireless and battery power uh, up lights. Uh, the reason I went with this light here instead of going with the newer technology was because I want to try them out for a little project first. And if I like them, then I'll buy more. Um, I bought a couple, not a couple, I bought 20 up lights from China, the generic kind, and I lost my ass off. I lost around $2,000 between up lights and some movie hands that I bought. So never, never, never again am I buying anything that comes from, uh, from the motherland. So, um, no, no more. I know everybody says all oh, this shit is built in China, but at least I get the warranty with these guys. And, and, uh, so never again am I playing around with money like that. So, um, if I like these, the reason I got them, cause I got a couple friends that got those lights and, and I seen them in action and they're decent. I really haven't gotten a lot of up lighting gigs. And, um, so I don't want to invest in the four or $500 fixtures, uh, for now. Um, this will do if I like them. I'm gonna order 16 more so I could have 20 um, These I ordered for my number two so for uh, my second gigs which are the smallest ones um, I always wanted to try these hopefully I like them because I originally wanted to get the Chave uh, um, Watch effects like I got but uh, anyways Just wanted to show you guys what I got and this little guy's getting very What's up, Biscuit? He wants to go for a walk. <laughs> hey, what's up, folks? So, today we got a busy, busy day, man. Today's Friday, um, February the 15th. And I'm here in the office waiting for a client. She's a little bit late. I haven't gotten a call from her, but I'm pretty sure she's going to show up. Anyways, um, bought some new equipment. I got to go to American DJ, which is probably five blocks away from my house. Pick up the equipment. Then I got to go run, pick up some more equipment. I'm just getting busy, man. This year we are gonna be real busy doing multiple events per day. So I had to buy extra gear. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we're, we're totally taking our setups to a whole different direction. Nothing new. You guys probably seen it at all, but um, just new to us. Uh, I just decided to move uh, the way I work in a different direction. Uh, still maintaining the same quality of work, of course. And um, so, yeah, that's it. Busy day today. I'm gonna be running all over the place. So uh, I'm gonna see if I get any footage when I get to American DJ. I know I already talked to Jose Heredia and uh, he said it was cool if I record. So I'm gonna see if I, I'm actually there for two reasons, picking up equipment and also to look at a light that I'm interested in, but I wanna see it firsthand to see how it looks. So I'll see if I can get any footage for you guys. All right, folks, I'm almost there. Literally two, three minutes away from my house. This is American DJ. Although you don't see any names on the building, this is it right here, folks. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't have any names. Maybe they just don't want everybody and their mamas coming over here and invite it on it. You know, just whatever. So, anyways, I'm gonna pick up some of my stuff uh, and I'm gonna see if I could record something in there. So I'm gonna show you guys how long it took me to get here from my house, all right? So it was 1.35, and now it's 1.37, two minutes. <laughs> all right, folks, so check it out. I'm right here at the American DJ headquarters, plan or whatever you guys wanna call it here in the city of LA. This is the way they test their lights, so I don't know what moving hands are those, but I'm gonna find out because as you guys can see, it's daylight. Those suckers look really, really bright. So the funny thing is that I was here picking up some items and I noticed some boxes there that I, uh, some other stuff that I bought from a different company. And it just so happened that they're mine too. So I'll check, I'll show you guys. So 
this is my stuff here I bought the uh, the case for my uh, American DJ Focus Boss 2 I bought some 16 inch mirror balls and I had one of those before and I sold it so I had to buy two more and then I saw those boxes here and and, and I knew they were coming in either today or Monday and I asked the guy are those mines and he looked it up and yeah they're mine ah <laughs> so like I said we ordered a whole bunch of stuff I'm just waiting for my friend Jose to come so he could give me a little tour cool all right folks so I made it out without buying anything else <laughs> so this whole car right here is mine this is the only part of the order because they didn't have the other stuff till next week um, this is for a new show that we we're doing and oh it's starting to rain let me hurry up uh, so we got the uh, decor MSBs from Eliminator Elim Lighting, uh, some uh, mirror balls, and a case for the movie heads. I want to. All right, guys. So here it is, the new facade. So this is gonna make my number four, and then I have a wooden one that I built. So actually, we have five. And um, the funny thing was that uh, the guy who sold me the facade is actually one of my YouTube followers, and. Uh, his words, not mine. He was a little bit starstruck. And I don't know why. I, I mean, I know I've been on YouTube, but nothing big like that, you know. But um, it was cool. It was cool meeting uh, people that see your videos and like your videos. So that was really, really cool. So I'm going to send him a shout out. Robert, thank you so much for the deal you gave me on that facade. We're going to put it to work. And uh, with that being said, folks, we got a rush pack. I got a, one more meeting before the day's over. All right, folks. So this is how we do. Uh, I'm going to show you the stuff that we're buying today. So. I'm actually buying by the box now because we're getting that busy. So let me show you guys. So this big old box right here looks like a sub. It's actually a whole case of the uh, LED foam sticks. And I'm gonna show you guys. This is this is the place that I buy all my stuff, and I recommend these people because they're really, really legit. They're real nice. Good customer service, and um, those are the phone numbers you guys can just call in the order, and they'll have it ready for you guys. Um, been coming here for years so this is the place this is the address right there so it's winston street 230 winston street uh suite number 18 you come and check them out like i said they have a lot of cool stuff right here a lot so today i'm buying a case of phone sticks uh, i'm buying 24 dozen of the uh, led bowls some crowns some wigs we have a whole bunch of stuff so you know, gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. So I got the receipt right here. I spent three hundred and forty-eight dollars, and this is gonna last me. Uh, this is gonna last me. I think around ten events, which I have twelve back to back. So I'm gonna have to come again. Check it out, folks. Check it out. The new facade panels. So I just got these today. It's actually gonna be four. As you guys can see, I have one here, the other one over here. But to be honest, I kinda look I kinda like the way it's looking, man. It looks kinda sexy.